this and I have nothing to tell you. <laughs> well, we have a terrific couple here. They'll tell you all about it. Let's meet Terry and Jolene Haran. Yes. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye. So, uh, how did you guys meet? Well, she, Jolene was looking for a soda in a machine or something like that, and I just kind of bumped into her, and it's been love ever since. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> soda pop, soda pop. <laughs> Now, Richard and Theresa Waver, welcome to the show. Where did you guys meet? Well, basically, Tess works for a party management company, and I'm, they're my client, I'm a programmer. And um, I met her, I asked her out, she said no. I kept on. Finally. And that's why you married her. That's why I married her. No, he liked my red dress. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. The red dress? Yes, the red dress. The magical dress. Oh. I think they made a movie about that woman with the red dress. <laughs> oh, no, that's a blue dress. Blue dress! <laughs> Darren and Robin Wickers, welcome to the show. So, so, where did you guys meet? Was it a soda machine too, or what? No, we didn't meet in a soda machine. We met on the beach. On the beach? <laughs> we have a very young crowd, and I think, uh... Can you smell some hormones? <laughs> Ladies, you're very attractive. Please stand up and leave our stage, because right now it's just going to be your husbands and myself. I'm going to ask, guys, the rules of this game are very simple, right? I'm going to ask you these three questions that are worth five points. You answer them as you think your wife's going to answer them. If you match answers, you get points. If you get points, we're going to send you somewhere across the street where it's very inexpensive for us. <laughs> Question number one, guys, for five points. When you and your wife are breaking the sound barrier of love, does she sound like an opera singer? Ooh. A laughing hyena? <laughs> or a peanut salesman at a ballpark? Get your peanuts here. Darren? She sounds like an opera singer. She she cracks windows when we High voices. break the sound. Uh, makes, like that? Sit down. Bit, bit, You're bit. making dogs around the neighborhood go, shut up! Richard? Uh, she's like a laughing hyena. Laughing hyena? Yeah, she just screams and shouts and <laughs> does all kinds of... <laughs> You're a hell of a man, man, bitch. Okay, uh, Terry? I'd have to say she's like a hyena because um, she, she just, she's got a, she, for a woman, she's got kind of a deep voice and, yeah. and she's very verbal. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Last question number two, name something in your home right now that reminds you of your wife's body. Something in your home right now. Richard? I'd say the refrigerator because uh, she's been on her... <laughs> She's she been having a weight problem lately, and she's wanted to go to the gym to uh, lose that weight, so I went to the gym. Uh, <laughs> Terry, get us out of this. <laughs> okay, I'd have to say the birds that we have. We've got these two blue finches, blue cat finches or something, and they're cute, pretty cute and little oh. fuzzy things, and they cheep just like her. She cheeps a lot. She walks around talking to herself like okay. a bird. Hey, they're married. They can brag each other. Sam? It would have to be the garbage can. The garbage can? I've been after her to go out and start working out. She looked great, but then she had the baby, and ever since then, it's been down here. I'll tell you. <laughs> Settle down, I told you. Question number three, guys. Complete the sentence. Just thinking about my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law's blank. Makes me queasy. <laughs> Terry? Um, I would have to say her driving. Her driving makes you queasy, yes. okay? Terry? I would have to say it's her tomato crab bake. She, her tomato she, crab bake? She taught my wife a recipe for a tomato crab bake, and it's the worst smelling thing I've ever... I, I don't want to make it in my house. I just don't want to have any I would say her voice. I've never met her, so the only thing I go on is her voice, and her voice is kind of bizarre. Bizarre. Yes. Okay. Don't go away. We're going to return. So you stay tuned, please. Yeah. The girls are back. Their better halves are back. How was that room in there? That yeah. padded cell? Soundproof. Sorry, we didn't have a soda machine for you there. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Your bumping days are over anyways, because you're bumping through him and you're married. Now, here it is. Question number one. When you and your husband are breaking the sound barrier of love, in other words, doing the wild thing, <laughs> do you sound like a laughing hyena, a peanut salesman at a ballpark, or an opera singer? Jolene? Uh, an op uh, I would say an opera singer. He always tells me that I 
scream too much. Can I say that? Yes, you oh, can. Yeah, he told me that, and he told me that the neighbors are going to hear and everything, and I tell them that they don't know. I know what the neighbors. The neighbors don't know. Insulate the walls. <laughs> You're not going to interfere with my fun. They don't know us. Who cares? You know, I don't know them yet. That's how I want to know us. They should make some noise. They don't. They, they must be bored. I guess. They, they must be married for a long time. Show us the the card. He's got a lucky. No, I, I, I know. I, I know it's not funny, it's great. It's fine, it It feels good, but you sound like a hyena sometimes. How is that noise? She goes, I can't sometimes. I can't. I can't. I can't. I do that. I do that. I do that. Why am I making any noise? Yeah, I have to say I'm a laughing hyena because, um, See, we always stop and we always say, oh gosh, the neighbors are going to hear. We wonder, I wonder what the neighbors think about us. You know, so I think I'm a laughing hyena. Yeah, well, he said, uh, I like it, you know. I can't. I guess it would have to be uh, an opera singer. With an the... opera singer. Oh! We got, uh, we got points for everybody, except you guys. Uh, here it is. Question number two, ladies. Name something in your home right now that your husband told us reminds him of your body. Something in your home. Could be anything. Yes? Um, the toothbrush that his aunt gave him last Christmas. <laughs> Why would that remind me? Because it's in the shape of a woman's body. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it has a matching shaver, too. Oh, it's it's a kind, body. Hey, hey, Rich, is it the kind you turn upside down? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know that false that you get when you're going through puberty, you know? <laughs> The refrigerator reminds him of your body. Oh, no! <laughs> now you said a garbage disposal, but I just think of that refrigerator. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> it would pro I would bet he would say the couch because it's, I have a wife, rear end. Oh, wait, 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 wait there before you do that. Please, this is going to shock you. Please, let me hold your hand. Mouth, mouth. <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> I'm a rabbit. You need to jump, dump I'm a rabbit. You're trying. I'm You're still a rabbit. I'm a rabbit. You have. What did I have? Your baby boy. I had a Girl. husband. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Jolie. I'm gonna have to say the waterbed. The waterbed. The waterbed. The waterbed. Water water yeah, because he always tells me that I'm real soft and squishy, and the waterbed is just kind of soft and squishy, and it lounges around. Look at him change colors here. <laughs> Show us your card. He said, the water bed? "No, the bird the you have." The birds. I know. Yeah, you're fuzzy, and you got a big bottom like the birds do. I yes, you are. Fuzzy. I have a tail. You're fuzzy though. Here it is. Question number three. How did your husband complete this sentence? Just thinking about my mother-in-law's blank makes me queasy. Robin? Cooking. I cook like my mom, and he doesn't like my cooking, so... Any he... specific dish? Tomato crab day. Yes, sir, buddy. <laughs> oh. What is a tomato crab day? Steak. No, it's steak. steak. It, uh, it, you don't know, want to know what it is. Cheddar cheese and tomato sauce with crab and spaghetti. <laughs> Get out of us. We're on your side here, Dad. Thank you. Dad? I'm oh, sorry, uh, Jolene? My mother, his mother-in-law, my mother, right? Your um, mother, right? His mother-in-law. <laughs> what makes him queasy, you suppose? Uh, her son. <laughs> her son, my brother. Yes, Terry and he have a relationship? <laughs> no, not really. They just, that's the problem. That's why it makes him queasy. Oh, yeah? It's, it's kind of a half-baked tomato half -baked bake. Half-baked tomato bake. Well, uh, he told so us uh, the other problem was... Her driving? Yeah. I mean, that driving runs in your family. <gasps> it does, yes, it does. It does. Yes, it does. It does. It does. My mother doesn't drive that. I'm still alive. Oh, I'm still You're so much. Right. That proves it, Tess. I have to say cooking, because he hates Filipino food. And ever I cook Filipino food, he hates it. And my mom cooks Filipino food, so... I you, what's wrong with cook. you, hey? You know, you don't like Filipino food? No. <laughs> That's in her voice. Well, I've never met your mom, so I figured I'd talk on the phone. So <laughs> We're going to be back with just the girls to see how quickly we break marriages up here on the Middle West Don't go away. Every time in rain, chocolate cakes from heaven. Uh, I would eat it.
is not, but then, you know, you ever have like a, a piece of chocolate or like a, 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 a bean thing right here and, and you look like, like you're from the south of the border? Yeah. I don't want to lose you, beautiful people. Here it is. Complete the sentence for 10 points now. And if you win, we're going to get you your own soda machine. <laughs> Complete the sentence. When they created my husband, they thought it would be very funny to give him an itsy bitsy, fill in the blank, and a humongous. But I'm not laughing. Okay, so we're looking for something small, something big. Test. An itsy bitsy. Let me see. Ears. Ears, uh huh. And, <laughs> oh, <was> uh. <laughs> And the humongous behind. Big buttons, small ears. On the next Geraldo. <laughs> Tell me. I'd say a, a, a very little behind. Uh -huh. Very little. Uh -huh. And a behind. big chest. 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 Big big chest. chest. Robin? Uh, an itsy bitsy behind. And nothing's big on Darren. He's got long legs. <laughs> Legs. Legs. <laughs> What's your favorite way to make your husband beg for mercy? Jolene? To uh, rub his, uh, rub his chest. Rub his chest. <laughs> You're a filthy crowd. <laughs> That's why I want you to be here at every taping. Robin? Make any dinner. My cooking. <laughs> and he begs for mercy after your dinner. Okay, Tess? Uh, whenever I fix myself, when I put my makeup and, and he's there watching me. He's begging for mercy. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> question, this is your 25 point bonus question, so listen carefully. Where does your husband act most like the cartoon character Speedy Gonzalez? In the car, at the table, or in the bedroom? Robin? In the car. In the car. <laughs> Teresa? In the car because um, he he always wants to get to a place fast. so fast. He always wants to pass everybody. When there's people in the freeway, he goes, what are these people doing? <laughs> I'm going to definitely have to say in the car, the man takes a total personality change. <laughs> We're going to be back with our Speedy Gonzalez husbands. Don't go away. <laughs> back. Elvis has left the building. <laughs> ladies, these questions, guys. Guys, ladies. These questions are worth 10 points now. So let's get on the ball here, huh? <laughs> How did your wife complete this sentence, guys? When they created my husband, they thought it would be very funny to give him an itsy bitsy blank and a humongous. But uh, I'm not laughing. What do you suppose she said, Richard? Um, probably an itsy bitsy nose and a gigantic behind. Behind? <laughs> Well, you're going to be shocked. She's not. She said, it's a bit of ears. Ears behind. Yeah, look at your ears. Look at the bald ears. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Teresa. Oh, you're making friends. What's wrong with my ears? You make me so conscious. My ears are not like that three small. Inches. Yeah, well, you know what they say about a man with big ears? Yeah. yeah. But I think that's not small. true. Huh? I think that's small. Huh? Okay, right. Robin? Take us to a higher plane here. Okay? Uh, an itsy bitsy butt and big feet. Big feet. <laughs> Robin, You're not... Chad, behind and leg. I got a big behind. No, that's a little behind oh. and big legs. But your legs are so long. They're so long. Long, they're they're so big. Big. long is big. Yeah, long is long not is big. big. My legs are long. Your butt is big. I forgot about you. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, Terry. Um, okay, I, she dogs me about this all the time. Okay, an itsy bitsy behind and a big chest. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> what's, your, what's, your, what's your wife's favorite way to make you beg for mercy? Dan? My wife's favorite way, uh, probably not cleaning the house. <laughs> 
I beg her to clean the house all the time. Rob, no. you a baby. <laughs> yeah. What? I said I make you eat dinner. That's that. You always complaining about my cooking. You good. never want to eat my cooking. You make tomato crab bake. I don't, I don't make tomato crab bake. It's not that bad. It's the house when I walk in the house and I can't see anything. I clean the house all the time. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Terry? Okay, I would have to say that she's very quiet. She throws the, the, uh, the cold treatment on. She doesn't say anything. She just kind of glares at me. Oh, yeah? The old silent treatment? She's, she's vicious with those eyes. Yeah? That's right, yeah. Okay, well, she said, uh... She, uh, rubs your chest. Thank mercy for that. You're oh. always like, I was nice to you. How? I said, because I start rubbing your chest, watching TV, and I rub your chest, and, and you're like, oh, baby, stop. Please don't do no. that. No. Please. Please. You said that. It depends on what you mean. And you told me that last night, and you said, no, don't, don't, don't do that. You that actually question. say that? Oh, yeah. baby, stop, stop, please. Yeah. No, it, it, it's... I always say that when she takes ice cubes to me. Well, ice cubes. <laughs> I would say she rubs my body, and that definitely makes me uh, beg for mercy. Beg for mercy. Well, uh, Tess told us that when she's putting on the makeup, right? When she's putting on the makeup. Uh... <laughs> oh, you just called me before we left. Yeah, but I'm not. Remember when? But I'm not beg for mercy. Christmas but I'm not beg for mercy. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> We're gonna return to the twenty-five point bonus question, but first, some words from a very nice man, Charlie O'Donnell. Some members of our studio audience will receive Ben Russ, his and her nugget-style gold tone watches, black dial with six genuine diamonds, sweep second hand, precision quartz movement, furnished by Ben Russ. If you'd like to be a member of our studio audience, write for tickets to The Newlywed Game, 1420 North Beachwood Drive, Box 9, Hollywood, California, 90028. And now, here's Paul. Thanks, just a little bit, Charlie. Okay, here it is. This is your 25-point bonus question. Good luck to all of you. Where do you act the most like the cartoon character Speedy Gonzalez, guys? In the bedroom, in the car, or at the table? Now, Richard and Teresa, you have five points, but these 25 points will give you 30 points, placing you in the lead. The bedroom. The bedroom? Yes. Oh, Teresa said in the car! <laughs> Darren and Robin, you have 10 points, 25 points will give you 35 points, placing you in the lead, Darren. In the car. In the car? She said in the car! 25 points. Terry and Jenny, you have 10 points. 25 points will give you 35 points, tying you with couple number three. What's it going to be, Terry? Uh, I would have to say at the table. She said, in the car, making couple number three. Terry and Robin, our grandfather's winner, Terry. It's a brand new Terry for your home. Glory Hill's Josh Brown Wall System designed to have everything you need for your entertainment. With an audio unit, entertainment unit, and bar unit, all with interior lights furnished by Glory Hill. Then Emerson's innovative remote control VHS video cassette recorder features digital special effects, 8 event, 21 day programmability, and 110 channel cable compatibility furnished by Emerson. Emerson's deluxe 25 inch stereo color television features 140 channel cable TV compatibility, infrared remote control, and and programmable sleep timer furnished by Emerson. Plus Packard Bell's PB8810 Turbo with high resolution color graphics monitor, fully IBM XT compatible, dual speed, 768 kilobytes memory, AT style keyboard, multiple serial and parallel ports, and includes DOS, GW Basic, and PB software collection, all furnished by Packard Bell. Retail value of this brand new den is $5,356. It's all yours from the New York game. And we also want to thank you people for taking the time out of your busy day to watch us. Keep doing it. See you next time. Bye bye. Our winners of today will receive Pledge with Pledge, Dustin Can Be Beautiful. Now available in Spring Fresh Scent. Or Tootsie Roll Need You, as good as you remember. Only 27 calories. Why not try some today? Tootsie Roll, as good as you remember. Or Miss Lee, smaller size Lee press on nails in teen and preteen fun colors. Miss Lee, press on nails.
or Advanced Formula Centrum, a high-potency multivitamin multivitamin formula with beta-carotene. Centrum, more complete from A to Z. For the next generation in salon-style nail lengtheners, Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails. Brush on my polish, Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails. By the way, if you want to try out for the newly red game and you've been married less than two years and you're going to be in the Los Angeles area, call us at 213-442-3561. That's 442-3561. Do it now.